Okay. Um, so as I said, my name is Mahmoud Hamid. I'm going to be uh, the instructor for the class. Uh, it is very good to see you guys early in the morning, uh, where at, uh, at least where I am. I know that some of you are in China and it's um, 8 p.m. over there. So you guys are getting ready for dinner and sleeping. Uh, so hi there as well. Um, the first thing I want to do today is to introduce uh, the TAs to you. So we have our graduate student, Lauren Brady, with us. Uh, and she has turned her mic on so you can see her there. Uh, she is uh, uh, an excellent uh, graduate TA. Uh, I've worked with her in the past and uh, I only have uh, amazing things to, to say about her. Um, and we also have an undergraduate student assistant, Jerry, who is uh, with us too, and his camera is on. Um, so all the teaching staff, actually, it turns out we are all in the East Coast. Uh, so one, Jerry is in Troy, Lauren is in Boston Spa, and I'm in Niskayuna. So we are all in the capital region here. Um, so what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to be teaching your regular classes, having office hours um, and helping you guys asynchronously on Piazza. Uh, Lauren and Jerry will have uh, studios uh, that they will be in charge of. Um, Lauren is going to be the lead on that, but we have an alternate time for the students in China uh, where Jerry is going to uh, lead them through the studio session in the night. Um, but the regular one where all of, almost all of you uh, will be able to attend uh, the Monday 1.30 to 3.55 p.m. Lauren is going to be the TA in charge. Um, so I thought I would just introduce you. Uh, Lauren and Jerry, if you guys want to say something, uh, please go ahead. Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren. I've taken Coco quite a while ago. Um, and I've been a COCO TA before, as Professor Hamid said, so I'm excited to see how the summer goes. Um, <laughs> and if you need anything at all, feel free to reach out, and we'll see you later at studio. Nice. Jerry, if, if you want to say something, go ahead. Uh, I think your mic is uh, off, Jerry. Uh, is it working now? Yes. Okay, sorry. So, hello, folks. Uh, my name is Jerry, and uh, I'll be your undergrad assistant for this class. And uh, I have some office hours at night time, so I'll probably see you tonight sometimes. Um, Professor, I think you're muted. So this is one of the 5,035 times that you are going to have to do this, Anthony. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, so I, I was saying, uh, uh, Lauren and uh, Jerry, uh, thank you for uh, coming to the, the meeting to do the introductions. Uh, if you guys want to do go about your daily business now, uh, that's absolutely fine. And then um, the, the students can uh, see you uh, in the studio. The questions on the chat box suggest that there is a question about today's studio. Yes, we have a studio today where we are going to do a simple tutorial. So it's not a very uh, heavy duty studio today. It's a, it's a you know, uh, meet and greet the TAs and uh, uh, go uh, run through a tutorial, uh, steps are given to you kind of uh, studio. Uh, so before we actually do something that is uh, serious, we need to do a practice run. So today is kind of a practice run for the studio. Uh, and I will be talking more about that uh, later on as well. Okay, so that's as far as uh, the introductions go. Um, let me move on to something different, which is the course overview. 
So this is going to be a conversation about syllabus and class logistics, etc. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys so that uh, I can. Oh, come on. Sure. Uh, OK, I hope you guys are able to see uh, the screen here. Uh, And if you are not able to see the screen, please let me know. Um, a, a really quick way to get my attention is um, through voice, because I'll be hearing the, the channel audio all the time. Uh, I, I try to keep track of the chat box as much as possible, but it's not possible to do that uh, for every second. OK, uh, so. I hope you guys are able to see the lecture zero course overview uh, document. Um, and if you can make that your big screen, the main screen, uh, that will be really good. So the, the detailed syllabus has been uploaded on the Piazza page for the class. I would highly recommend that you read through the details of the syllabus so that we have we both understand what the what the general expectation is for the class. And then let's talk about the course objectives. So COCO or uh, Computer Components and Operations, uh, we start with the fundamental concepts of uh, the digital logic computer system. So we'll start today with the number systems. How are computers going to represent numbers? Numbers that are negative, numbers that are positive, numbers that are integers, numbers that have a fraction part. Numbers, can they be uh, represented in a very concise manner uh, instead of writing everything out in zeros and ones? So we'll take a look at number systems today. We may or may not be able to finish this uh, today. So um, le let's see where we reach. Then we'll talk about Boolean algebra, digital circuits uh, that, uh, you know, some, some circuitry that we can design uh, to implement certain logic gates. Then we will move on to uh, some combinational logic uh, gates, which are AND, OR, and exclusive OR. We will add more to it. We'll add NAND and NOR and exclusive NOR. So we'll take a look at a bunch of logic gates. And of course, the simplest one of them all, which is not. Then we have the combinational circuits. Um, so these are uh, really interesting circuits, but they do not have memory in them. Those are combinational circuits. We'll take a look at encoders, decoders, multiplexers, uh, tri-state divisor, uh, tri-state devices bus drivers, how do you design an arithmetic logic unit? And, and we'll talk about all of that in the combinational circuits part. And then the second half of the semester um, or, you know, the more complex part of the course is the sequential circuits part where we'll design and understand flip-flops, counters, finite state machines, and then we'll end the course up with some uh, introduction to digital memory, some programming uh, model concepts, and a very brief introduction to computer organization. So those ending lectures will kind of give you a head start into uh, computer, uh, Kinos, computer architecture, networking, and operating systems. So if you guys are computer systems engineers, Kinos is a required course. and. Um, those lectures, the ending part of COCO is crucial for that. Now, that's as far as lectures go. What about the studios? Well, the studios will focus on some simulations and some actual hands-on experience. The simulations, are, we are going to use logic works. Let me write this down here. Uh, And that's a that's a, a simulation software where you can uh, drag and drop 
logic gates or uh, integrated circuits and then connect them through wires um, and run some, run some simulation exercises. So we do not have the luxury right now to be able to do this on a breadboard or a proto board. Uh, with a digital probe kit, all of that equipment, um, uh, you know, it, it was not uh, practical to send each of you a, a breadboard and a digital probe kits and a set of parts. Um, so what we decided is for the proto board exercises, we will focus on logic works. And majority of the time in the semester, we will focus on FPGA related uh, studios the basis three board is going to be helpful for that. So hands-on experience, we'll be doing some designing, modeling, um, uh, and building of lo digital logic gates uh, using VHDL. And more about that as we go on, uh, the Studio Zero will gu guide you through the, the first studio, first programming exercise. Um, and you can also use that studio time to kind of go through installation, get the installation help today and, and so on. Uh, questions about the things that we have discussed so far? Okay, so I don't see any questions coming in on the chat. I will move on. Uh, you know my name, Mahmoud Hamid, uh, you know my email address, so for questions that are sort of one-on-one -on -one in nature, uh, I would encourage you guys to uh, use my email address. The, the WebEx link to my personal room is written over here. I will be using this for office hours. And if there is a need at any time for a quick one-on-one -on -one, um, meeting on WebEx, I will be using the same link. So I would encourage you guys to kind of uh, save it at some place where it is easily accessible. The office hours are going to be Wednesdays, six to, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Note, today is a Monday, so my office hours will start uh, next week, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, but this is live office hours. I will also be available asynchronously through Piazza, so feel free to uh, post your questions over there and uh, we all can... Uh, help answer the question if we know the answer to that question. So I want to uh, encourage students and uh, TAs and myself. It, this is all going to be a team effort where we answer questions on uh, Piazza if we know the answer to the question. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we talked about office hours and we move on. Now, the teaching assistants, you have already met uh, Lauren and Jerry, as I said, Lauren is going to be our graduate TA. She's going to be in charge of the studio sessions, 1.30 to 3.55 p.m. Again, Eastern time. This is when the four or five students that are in China are going to be sleeping and I don't expect them to be awake at that time. Uh, but for everybody else, this is going to be an okay time. Even for the students that are on the West Coast, uh, this is sort of a suitable time for them as well. Um, so the students in China, we need to have a backup studio plan, right? So for them, uh, Jerry is going to be in charge of studio uh, help sessions on Mondays from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, everybody is welcome to go to those particular 9 to 11 p.m. slot. However, the students that are in China are going to be uh, given the first preference because that's the only convenient time for them to be able to get uh, TA help. So if you are currently in the U.S., I would encourage you to take advantage of the Monday 1.30 to 3.55 p.m. slot. 
if you are in China, I would encourage you to take advantage of Mondays 9 to 11 with Jerry. The timing doesn't match. So I'm hoping that there is a one hour help session, a one hour office hours that Lauren conducts for between eight to nine on Mondays and Thursdays. So you guys can, in China, whoever is in China right now, can get started with the session over there and then continue that with Jerry from nine to 11. I will be posting studios ahead of time. So there's no need for you to start on Monday. You can get a start ahead of time as well. Okay, so let's see. Uh, their email addresses are shown over here and uh, their WebEx personal room links are linked on the page here as well. Now, when I post this on Piazza as a PDF document, uh, you guys just can click on those links and it will take you to uh, the WebEx personal room. Okay, uh, let's see. What about office hours? Well, we have office hours, uh, which are mainly uh, sort of homework help. Lauren is going to hold office hours on Mondays and Thursdays from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern. And Jerry is going to be holding a homework help session on Thursdays from 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern. So lots of opportunities for you guys to be able to answer, uh, ask questions live. But again, your asynchronous uh, help is always available with Piazza. Questions about uh, the teaching assistants and office hours. All right. So it is good, uh, important to uh, understand where we are physically, right? Most of the students, including the instructor and the TAs, they're all on the East Coast, which means they are in the Eastern time zone, which is a very good news because they, they, they are very, uh, the number of variables I'll have to keep track of uh, for live discussion and live activities uh, is uh, a little bit manageable. So most of the students are in the Eastern time. So I think it's a, a it's about 22 students uh, or 21 students, I think, that are in, for, that fall in this category. Two students are on, uh, in the West. So one is in the Pacific time zone and one in, in the in the mountain time zone. So one is three hours behind us and one is uh, uh, two hours behind us. So I would expect that those two students, um, they might not be able to attend live lectures uh, on a regular basis. I hope that today they have joined, but on a continuation basis, they might not be able to because it's going to be what, uh, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., depending on where they are. So for, for those two students, um, I request you guys to send me an email about a plan. I plan to uh, go through the lecture on YouTube at this time during the day. I want to know the time. I, I want to have some sort of understanding about whether you have a plan or not. When do you plan to uh, go through the lecture? Now, of course, you are responsible to actually do it. But as an instructor, I would like to know what your plan is. So please email me your plan. At least four students are in China. And actually, one student is going to be traveling this weekend to China, which is 12 hours ahead of, uh, ahead of the Eastern time zone. So for an 8 a.m. class, there will be 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. class, which is still manageable. I don't think anybody uh, sleeps at that time, at least at, uh, you know, your age. So uh, still manageable. However, the studio time is, is, is not a practical option. So that's why we have a backup studio time. All right. Let's move on here. 
what are the course components so what are the different things that we are going to be doing in the class first of all we are going to have lectures those are going to be on mondays and thursdays today by the way is a monday um, 8 a.m to 10 5 a.m we are going to be using webex meetings for this and i will be sending you guys uh, invitations so that you can join those lectures these lectures will be recorded and posted later on in the day on YouTube so that if you are a fan of 2x speed or 4x speed you can do that as well um, for a quick review of the lecture material um, we are going to use this lecture time to do some quiz activity and we are going to start off this quiz activity today at 8 30 a.m on grade scope don't panic this is not for credit this is a practice run for quizzes so this is going to be from 8 30 a.m eastern time to 8 40 a.m eastern time on grade scope so it starts in about six minutes and at that time i will let you guys go through it um these questions should not take more than uh, a minute or two to answer but there's a 10 out 10 minute time slot given to it um, there's no need for you to panic for this even if you are not able to answer things correctly that's fine however i do want you guys to go to great scope and actually do it lectures we are going to be using that time and we are also going to be using that time for three exams during the semester the studio, which is the next component of the class, is Monday 1.30 to 3.55 p.m. Again, on WebEx meetings. Uh, this is going to be on um, Lawrence personal room, where we are going to learn VHD, LFPGA, logic works, and then students will be required to demonstrate the studio exercises. So, you know, you will have to hold your board up to the camera and show uh, Lauren or Jerry that, hey, look, this studio works i have programmed it here is my program and i have demonstrated it to you so um, while you are demonstrating it to the uh, ta uh, they might ask you a few questions so that uh, they are sure that you have gone about doing the studio in a proper manner uh, those questions will be simple in nature if you have actually done the exercise so this is an individual effort it's not going to be a team effort it's going to be an individual exercise um, for all of the studios unless we actually specify that uh, you need to work in a group most of them are going to be individual exercises so they you will need to go to the studio to demonstrate your work you may choose to do the work at any time you want but for demonstration you do need to attend that session the studios will be assigned on Piazza and then there will be individual submission on Gradescope starting Studio 1. It will not be for Studio 0. It will start from Studio 1. Studio 1 will be Monday of next week. The next component of the class is homework. Homework is assigned every class on Piazza. So there will be homework 1 assigned later on in the day today. It will be due on Monday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, just for this first week, it is being assigned on Wednesday and it is due on a Monday. But apart from that, everything else will have a one week uh, time duration. So generally, it's going to be due in one week on Gradescope. I hope that everybody is familiar with the Gradescope tool. And you have all been added to it as well okay let's move on here there are three exams during the semester midterm one thursday june 18th midterm two july 23rd and the final exam is going to be the last time uh, we meet during the semester summer semester which is going to be thursday august 20th so it's one day before the last day of classes summer classes um, now, for each of these exams, I'm going to have two exam time slots. One is going to be mainly for all the people in the east Eastern time zone. And 
a different exam is going to be conducted, which is going to be of the same difficulty level later on in the day for the students who are in the west of the US and are in China. So two, two, two time zones for, for, for that uh, exam. Now, if you have a very serious uh, uh, conflict for that, you need to inform me uh, early so that we can, uh, we can manage that situation. But I'm expecting that Eastern time zone people will be able to take it during class time and everybody else or uh, people on, in the West Coast and um, in China will be able to take it an alternate time later on in the day, the same day. Same amount of difficulty, but different questions. So it's not going to be uh, the same exam. Okay, and these exams will be proctored. So you will you will need to have your microphone and camera on. Uh, I will talk more about that um, when we get closer to the exams. All right, let's move on here. If you have uh, an extra time accommodation, please uh, forward me your DSS note so that I can plan ahead of time about the extended time. Now, the first studio is going to be today. Um, actually, let me take a pause here before I talk about the first studio. What I'll do is I will uh, essentially stop the recording and